Hello everybody and welcome back to Oakford Farm. We now have a very good view of our industrial yard over there. <laughs> we have a great big stack of bales next to the uh, feed mixer, but it's doing a very good job. Anyway, the cucumbers both have um, good supplies of manure. When I say both, I mean both the greenhouses, not just two cucumbers. Uh, and yes, we do have the trailer just over here with the extra supply of manure for next time. So I can stay there. My new solar panels, don't want to be crashing into them, that would be an unwise thing to do. And yes, what we're going to be doing to begin with today is uh, installing, or should I say, digging out a pond. Now I'm not too sure if it does cost money to fill up the tanker from the water fill point at the yard, but even if it doesn't, I still want to do this, just because it is a constructive way of uh, adding another water supply. You probably can fill it up from the rivers too, it's just I don't really have a local river as such, uh, which is easily accessible. So I just want to do this. I haven't actually used the uh, pond mod since Felsbrun, since I was doing the Felsbrun series. It was probably back in January or February, not too sure exactly when. But yeah, it's going to be a good thing to do. It's not going to take the whole episode, just the first piece. Looks like the wool is fine, so that can stay just building up. Uh, the main thing about this yard is the, uh, the cows. The cows are doing very well as well. Uh, they currently have almost 10,000 litres of milk, which is going to be increasing fairly rapidly. Right, so into the lorry just here. I do need to close the gate. And it also could do with topping up with water. So I will just go and clarify if it costs money. Again, it doesn't matter. Regardless of if it costs money, I'm still going to be doing this because it's actually going to be to make it prettier down there as well. Uh, it's going to be in the same field as the cucumbers. And actually, I do need a, a local water supply for the cucumbers anyway because they require water and I'm probably going to be installing some other greenhouses as well in the near future so that is in fact free good okay but well, it doesn't matter that's fine uh, it's just going to be very nice to have an even more local supply so if I head down here I'm now going to be ready to suck the water out of the pond which currently doesn't exist it's going to be a fairly fast operation probably the fastest pond build ever so if I just park here, it will keep me out of the way, uh, because I think it just looks like the right place just here. It looks like a really good place to do it. I don't really know exactly how much it's going to cost me, but it shouldn't be too much. Also, I will try and keep away from the uh, church, because I know that some viewers do not like hearing the organ, for whatever reason. I'm not too sure what the reason is, but yes, I will keep away from it. Um, so if I just sink the ground there, I can then... If all goes to plan, place the pond trigger or pond layout. Uh, it's going to be, I guess, the largest one. Oh no, actually, that would be a lake. Uh, yes, that one there will be absolutely fine. You can see the, the largest area I can go to. So that is plenty. And I want to keep the depth about right as well. So it is going to be like that. So now I have got the template, I can then dig it out. So it's a relatively easy process. You've probably done this before anyway. The mod isn't exactly old, but it is one of the older Farming Simulator 19 mods. If you do go beyond the radius which you've set, it can look a bit messy, I think. So you, I think you do need to be quite careful um, about where you do put the edges. Okay. I'm maybe a bit too close there, but that should be fine. Okay, I want to make it quite deep as well. I think my brush might be set a bit too small. With it deepest in the middle. And yeah, I think I think that's going to look good. Okay, that's weird. It just filled in. Um, actually, I think we could, we could do an island. You, you potentially can do an island. Of course, we do have the, uh, the, the weeds and reeds and stuff in the middle. If I do a really small one, just here. Could even do a little mountain sort of thing and then smooth it off. Okay, so that is everything done here. I don't think anything else needs to be done. That in itself is uh, 
plenty. That is a pond. And of course, it has an island, it has trees, it has wildlife, sort of. Uh, and it's actually not too deep. It's I've not done it that deep at all. In fact, I did think I'd sunk it deeper. But yeah, if you want me to do it deeper, then please do feel free to uh, post down below. But really, it is just supposed to be an area to basically harvest rainwater so I can then pick it up with this. We can pump it out and use it on different applications. So we've got the, the greenhouses, which will hopefully be expanding soon, and also the water troughs for the sheep and the cows. How far do I have to be in there? That's good. You can actually stay right on the edge. That's something I didn't, didn't really like with uh, previous versions of Farming Simulator. You literally had to be in the water to pump it out, whereas normally you can actually throw a pipe into the water and suck it out. You wouldn't tend to reverse into there, otherwise you'd never get out. So there we go. The water source is done. Of course, it cost me a lot of money to do it, but it looks good too. In fact, let's try and get an aerial shot whilst that is filling up. It's quite a spruce tree. It's a very bushy spruce tree. Uh, so, yeah, we still have the rest of the field. I can do pretty much anything with it. Um, yeah, so that is probably not what you're expecting to see in this field. In fact, anywhere around the yard here. I just think it's a nice thing to do. And surprisingly, that isn't the tallest spruce tree you can get. There is actually a taller one, which you can pay for and place. It's something like three and a half thousand pounds, which is super expensive. Anyway... That is 96% full, almost there, 99 and 100. So we now have 32,000 litres. I think whilst I'm here, I will just try and unload some of the water directly into the cucumber area if they require it. Of course, I do have to get the right angle on this. There we go, and they really don't take too much. Maybe I should continue the track around here so that I can do a lap. That would be quite a good thing to do. But that will be most likely in a future episode, because I'd like to hear feedback from my viewers first. Anyway, the second one is just here. Should say start overloading. There we go. And again, it doesn't take much. So, I can now take the tanker up to the cow field and hopefully top their water up as well. Looking at it, the cows don't require water, but the sheep definitely do. They, they have uh, only just over half a trough load, which is still quite a bit, but yeah, it could do with topping up. Just to guarantee, they always have enough water, I don't want to forget. Now we do have the bales, which need to be sold, and we also have the silage over in the uh, silage pitched over there to the right of us. So I would like to sell a fair chunk of that today as well. There are two different options available to us. One is to use the conveyor belts, which I already own. It's the uh, most obvious thing to do, the most logical. Or we could, if, if I really wanted to, pay for the Roper machine, the Nawaro mouse, to actually, well it's a conveyor belt system as well, but to basically suck it up and put it into a trailer that way. I would like to use the Nawaro mouse, but of course it is just a total waste of money because I have the conveyors, and it's literally the same thing, just it's on wheels. So how much are they going to take? Probably about 4,000 litres. Yep, so we're left with 85%, still plenty. And it is now time to go and park the lorry up and go to bed. So in the morning, we will indeed do probably both of them. Well, I think what I'll probably try and do is get the lorry filling up. That's very dark. <laughs> get the lorry filling up. And whilst it's doing that, I can go and get another auto stack a load of bales. I don't know whether to keep some in the yard. I might have to. But, of course, yes, if the price is super good, then I will sell some. I have already sold the majority of the bales. Yes, it's very tinted. The window in that lorry is probably way too tinted. Uh, most likely illegal for UK roads, but there you go. So much park it here. The usual place. It is a pretty good place for it. And, as you can see... Once again, lit up like a Christmas tree, we have the feed mixer, which I really could not fault. I cannot fault that mod one bit. It's just so useful. Uh, it is just super handy. And we've got 135,000 litres in storage. Or 132,000 litres. So yeah, enough for several weeks of uh, feeding the cows. 
I'm going to bed under the torchlight. I, I do have lights in this house. <laughs> I could have just left the lights on. Uh, no, I will get back up the stairs. So I have made some money. That must be from the solar panels. And also I've had to pay property maintenance, which is uh, understandable. Anyway, let us sleep. Eight hours, that should do it. Hopefully it gets us to around 7 a.m., roughly. Eight, okay, good. Great demand at the stables bale sale point. That sounds like good timing. But is it for straw bales? That's the thing. It isn't necessarily. It is for straw. It is for straw. Wow. Uh, so, yeah, that is... At least I think that's straw. Is that straw? It doesn't say straw. And they all look very similar. Is that straw? There is a very simple way of finding out, and that is to stab a bale. Because it should show you the icon. It is straw. Good. Uh, the only reason why I doubt it is because somebody actually told me in my comment section... Come on, don't fall over. Yeah, they said um, that I was calling it straw, but actually I was looking at the hay. They said that the V-shape was the hay, but thankfully I was correct. Which is hard to believe, but I actually was correct. Um, so yes, I was in fact getting the, the price for straw that I was looking at, so great. So we have a, a great demand. It's not necessarily the best place, although today it is the best place. So let us go and get a, a big load of straw bales from the field. I think there's probably enough for two. Two more full auto stack loads. I wouldn't have thought to more than two, because two in itself is still 32 bales. So if I just tab across, I'm most likely to attach to it. There we go. I have the fence 9330, it's 930, uh, ready to go. So yeah, first job of today, grab a load of straw and take it to the same sell point as always to try and make 10,000 pounds. I can't see any reason why I wouldn't make 10,000 pounds. Shouldn't be too difficult to do. Uh, and then after that, of course, we can move on. Do a bit of silage as well. I guess I could get it loading up. Uh, I think it would be a wise idea. Okay, so here it is, just under the filling point. It's totally empty. So it is ready to get its first load of silage. It is going to be, I think, 60,000 litres, so it's a fair amount. It should still take five, anywhere between five and ten minutes to load. And that is, of course, assuming that I do have the setup here ready to go, which it isn't. It looks like I have crashed into this. I don't recall crashing into it. I might have turned it intentionally. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I've got the angle completely wrong here. There we go. If I boom way out and then lower it down, then there is a bit more uh, working space. So it should, in theory, be absolutely fine. So some of this silage will be going to the uh, mixer just here, but not all of it. There is so much in there. Like I said, I think we've got a 60,000 litre capacity. In this pit alone we have 317,000 litres, and we're likely not going to need any more than 50,000 for this, so yeah. It does need some, because that is the thing it has run out of, but we do also have a very small amount of hay, but then again we do have all that hay just there, so yeah, some of it will be going into uh, into the mixer. So that's working, let's move on, let's go back over to the fender tractor, and I will get this next load picked up, and I, I, I just really look forward to seeing how many we have left after I have picked up the next 16. I can't imagine there's that many more, because I, I did make a lot, but really, I must be uh, fairly close to the end by now. Uh, it's just one of those things where if you've got to cart it a long way, it does get a little bit repetitive. If you're taking it just to the yard, it's fine. Um, so yeah, let's just go for it. There is space for one more bale, and we are still left with one, well, I'm not going to count them very well, I don't think, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So yeah, there is only one more auto stacker load. One of those ten is a hay bale, that's fine, because the, the last few will be going back to the yard for putting into the mixer. 
Oh, actually, there is another one over there as well, but that's fine because it's still going to fit into the, the load which we have here. Anything up to 16, that would be 11. So, yep, yeah, that's great. So this is the last load I'm going to sell. I'll head over there, and I really do hope it's going to be in the region of £10,000. I really can't see why it wouldn't be. Actually, it would be a good idea to take the lorry at the same time, since I think it might be the same sell point. Even if it isn't, it's likely en route, so it would just be a waste of time not taking it with us. Uh, so let's just take a quick look at the prices here. Yeah, so it's the stable, and the best one for this one is biogas, where is stable? Typically, the stable is at the bottom. That is typical. But we do still have... I don't know if we can take it to the biogas. Do you have to own it on this map? I'm not too sure. But we do actually, what I'll do is I'll take it to Oakfield Farm Barn. That is literally here. Well, that's very easy. In that case, it's not going with us. That's very easy indeed. It is just 100 yards away. I've been here many times now, and I think it might actually be easier getting into here with the articulated lorry, just because it can, well, articulate much easier than this can. Uh, so, let's just reverse it into there, and hopefully see if we can get the 10,000. Ten thousand eight hundred and fifty two. Okay, so I head back and then I can jump into the lorry and get that one to sell over at the sell point. It's not gonna be very far to go, which is good, because I don't I well I do love travelling, but I don't like travelling the same route over and over again. So uh, this one really isn't going to be very far at all. Now the field which I am currently clearing the bells from is likely going to be sold and replaced with another field. At the moment I don't know which field it's gonna be, but just something with a decent crop in. Also, I did notice we have a field just down here which is just brush and I, I wonder if it would be possible to buy it. We actually do own it anyway which is interesting although actually we might not own the piece I was referring to. Yes yeah, so I could buy that in the future that could be a, a nice little quick job clearing the brush and just maybe cutting it and bailing it a few times. It's just a bit of extra land and yeah we do already own just a very small section of it you can buy the larger piece as well which I think we would do. I don't know how much it would cost us. Let's just take a quick look. I think it was this piece here. Oh, it's £98,000 just for that small piece. Well, we, we can definitely clear the sliver, the, the very small strip, which we already seem to own. I think we actually do start off with anything which is uh, a negligible amount, as you can see, all the sections. But yeah, the fact that we own this piece here and this piece here could work in our favour quite a bit. I do have one more load to go and pick up, so there's no point taking this back just yet. But I do just need to jump out and transfer over to the lorry just to uh, essentially tip it in this cell point here. I will have to move this out of the way. Yes, yeah, so this can go in the shed just opposite. Hopefully there is enough space. That's my uh, wall storage point, that's fine. I can put it in the shed next to it just here. Um, yeah, it shouldn't stick out too much. Okay, well, there is a bit of sticking out, but nothing that's going to get in the way. Uh, so, yes, finally, over to the lorry. I think it's 60,000 litres, I don't know if sure. I'm just guessing, I think it was last time. 63, well, that's better, the more the better. So what that equates to for money, I don't know for sure, but I would guess it's in the region of 40-something thousand. So I'll say 45,000, just as a wild guess. And because I have opened the gate, it's going to make it much easier to reverse in. That's of course if I don't crash into the gatepost. Now, does this lorry tip up into the air? I keep forgetting. If it does, this could be troublesome. Uh, it does, okay. It is still possible to sell it, just you have to do it in two stages. Okay, so 27648 plus 8952. My maths isn't quite as good uh, as it used to be. <laughs> it makes me sound old. No, it's because I, when it, whenever you study a certain subject, I always find you much better at it. So obviously when I was at school and stuff, I had to do maths. I could probably add that up, no problem at all. But these days, um, 
yeah, like, what was it, how many years ago? I guess it was, it was 10 years ago that I did my GCSEs. Uh, yes, I would have to use a calculator unless I was given quite a bit of time. So, there we go. By the way, if you want to calculate that, you can do. But I think it was short of my 45,000 prediction. But not by too much. It was still pretty good. Right, so to finish off with, I want to go and get another load and just conclude that field. I might even sell the field at the end of this so I can buy the new field at the beginning of the next episode. I guess you could say we're, we're kind of field flipping. Uh, we own a field, we harvest the crop and sell it. And, and that is a recognised thing to do, I guess. Uh, it's certainly not unrealistic as such because you can, without any problems, buy a piece of land, do what you want with it and then sell it again. That's absolutely fine. Although chances are when you buy the piece of land there'll be no crop on it because I think what tends to happen is, um, yes, if somebody sells a piece of agricultural land, if it has a crop growing, they say that it will be transferred to the new owner once the crop has been harvested and you start with a clean slate. Anyway, we have 11 bales roughly here. So I'll finish picking them up. And they are just going to stay on the auto stacker, ready for dropping into the feed mixer. I don't know if we need to make any more feed, but this is just the ingredients for it in the future if I do need to. So we have this bale, that bale over there, and that bale over there. And there goes the green one. Well, it's a shade of green anyway. If it was totally green, it'd be a grass bale. That is hay. Okay, so that's the field cleared, I reckon. Uh, did I leave one? I think I've left one. Yeah, I must have done, because I don't have an odd number. It almost got away. Here it is. Right, so that, that is 11. That must be everything. As for how much this field costs, I currently have no idea, but I would have a guess at £80,000, maybe even more, actually. How did you know? What am I thinking? Okay, I'll say 200,000. I will, because if that other piece of land costs 90,000, 98,000, this must be at least 200, maybe even 300,000. Let's take a look. It is fill number one. It is 345,000 pounds, so if I sell that, next time I can buy anything, pretty much within my price range. But not field 15, because field 15 is 1.7 million. Yeah, one thing I can definitely guarantee is I will never be able to buy field 15, which is sad, because it is a nice field. I would love to be able to harvest it, but it's just one of those fields which has to really stay in the multiplayer videos, uh, because otherwise, yeah, it's, it's just very difficult to uh, get the money available for it. So here we are, back at the farm. I think that's everything I wanted to do today. Next time we're going to have a bit more cow work, I would imagine. Uh, I'd also like to use the compact tractor again, because we do have a few attachments as well. And actually, we do also have the uh, Alice Chalmers little compact tractor ride and mower thing, which I'd quite like to use again. That's still filling up. Wow. So there we go. Yeah, if that is almost full, I will either tip it into here or sell it, depending on what it is doing. 56, that's 90%. Okay, so yeah, we'll sell it, I think. It would be a, a good idea. Almost there. And it is full. Yeah, some serious amounts of silage. All of this silage has come from the cornfield, uh, which was the most recent one I purchased, for number 38. So it's worthwhile. I, I did a live stream when I was harvesting it, and now we are reaping the rewards. So I think we all know what this is going to be. This time I will try and get it to tip the whole thing before it hits the roof, but I think that is going to be quite a challenge. If it does hit the roof, it will just go berserk. Like that. But almost, it almost did do. There we go. So, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed the video. 
And until next time, see you again soon. Bye for now.